Hello ladies and mostly gentlemen, I'm Vinny B and today we have a quick fun little project for you. As some of you may know, I design and build an airbag trailer to tow the smart booza. Boop, boop. During that process, I changed the airbag for some better ones. One of them ended up being the spare of the trailer and I was left with that one. But how can I repurpose it? Nope. Come on. Well, maybe you guessed it because of the thumbnail. But I'm gonna use this one as a car jack. I know at first glimpse, it seems quite simple, right? You just put it underneath the car Put some hair here, done. All right, so that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Link downstairs to my website. Till next time, go do something with your head. You see, ladies and mostly gentlemen, the bag has a natural form, which is probably the one that it's been mold injected into. So as it is, it won't fit underneath the car. Even if you push real hard on it. Yeah. Uh, Seriously, it's fucking hard. So how am I gonna fit that bag under my car? And I think I came up with a pretty clever and simple solution. Okay, so let's talk about what I'm working with here. First, the height underneath the car is around six inches. And when squished, the airbag is around 3.5. Plus, you have to leave a good inch of space for that air fitting. So unfortunately, I'm only going to be able to fit one bag. Shoot! That would have been so nice to stack two bags, one on top of the other. A little bit on the sketchy side, but fun. <laughs> All right. But how am I going to compress that damn thing? Should I use gas spring with an intricate mechanism to push down on the bag? I could also use... <sighs> An old car jack. Remove the hydraulic part and replace it with the bag. Then add the gas ring to push back down and voila, project done. All right, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to And seriously, guys, the only issue I have with this option is that, and some of you may recall from the trailer bill, but these bags are overrated in the lifting capacity department. They're not that powerful. So adding the fulcrum with the car jack, Yes, I would have a good range of motion, but not enough power to lift one side of the car. So it was, uh, yeah, for the car jack version. I should keep it simple. Stupid. So that brings us into my hopefully clever solution. Have you ever heard about vacuum generator like this one? These guys are really small, and from time to time, I use it when I design robot hands. A uh, new, no, not those kind. Yep, those ones. These vacuum generators are very useful to pick up small and light objects once they are combined with a vacuum cup. Since I'm a bit stupid and I could not purchase and most of all wait for the thing to arrive, I designed and 3D print one of my own. The principle is quite simple. You push air into a nozzle, the air speed up in the diffuser, that reduces the air pressure, and because there's a difference in air pressure, that creates a vacuum right at this inlet. So on the real thing, air in, air out, then suction down at the bottom. Same principle as my what? All right, so let's see if that little fella will vacuum the air inside that hairbag and squish the damn thing close. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so I'm using an air regulator to control the pressure and also a flow control to control the flow. Yeah, that's quite obvious. All right, so it's all hooked up. I, uh, it's gonna be a first. Never done that before. It's a big lie. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a big lie. I did it before. It works. Oh my god, I sold the punch! So the flow control is completely closed. I will gradually open it up. Let it hear through the vacuum generator and see how it goes. A little bit more. A little bit more. It's working! Uh, a bit more. A bit more pressure. That's nice. All right, so there's really a sweet spot. If you let too much air through, the vacuum will not be generated. So the flow controller is really important to play with. Good, 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 good. So now I need to fabricate a base plate or something and then a 
top plate. So roll the montage please. Hey, so there it is, guys. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> easy, buddy, easy. First thing first. <laughs> nope. Close that one, touches the car, and then boom! So it seems to work, but is it really a good idea to make one for yourself? Absolutely not! You see, it doesn't lift that much the car. The wheels are barely lifting from the ground, maybe about 2 to 3 inches. So for changing your tires, eh, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be fine. But that's it. And it's not really safe. Yes, I shook the car many times and it held up, but I knew it was because I had the handbrake on. Otherwise the car could start rolling forward, flexing the airbag, to then have the car smack down and flatten the car jack. Just like a pancake. You can ask me why I know this. Yeah, I try it on the smart. Twice. And the thing rolled on me. Twice. But you know me guys, I knew there was probably a way to engineer myself out of this situation. Because you can actually buy airbag car jack. They already exist. These are triple button bags and they have inside a telescopic shaft to prevent the flexing from the bag. But they're not cheap. So this is my version of it. Don't know if I'm gonna build it? Probably not. Since the travel of the bag that I own is not enough for that type of application. In conclusion, just stick to the good old hydraulic car jack. 
It offers a good range of travel, it's solid and powerful at a really good price. All right, so that's it for that quick little fun project. I've got many other bigger projects down the line. I just don't know which one I'm gonna tackle first. I've got the pit bike project that I want to modify into a three-wheeler version. I also want to reduce the weight of the Smart Booza and build a roll cage in it. I've got this huge milling right in the corner of my shop that I need to do a motor conversion so I can run it on the 220 volts. But till then, go do something with your head, your hands, or both. See you guys. Ouais, ça a l'air bon ça. Et comme moi je parlerai comme ça. La 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 la. Respire. I've got, I've got today. Attends, je vais te tirer. Qu'est-ce qu'il faut pas faire?